Hey everyone, Thomas here at MGMClassicCars.com. Today I have the pleasure of going over this 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. It's not a real SS car, so I'll say that out the gate. This looks as a clone with the emblem on front of the grill and the one on the back bumper. But this began life um, as a regular Chevelle 1970. The Chevelle has been painted five years ago, from what I was told, from the previous owner in a cranberry red finish, and the black rally stripes have been added to the car. Walking around the car, definitely a nice paint job. It's not going to be a $20,000 show car paint job, but very respectful. If you wanted to go to the car show, pop the hood and have a good time. Um, and it being reliable, this is it. It's not a show car, just a nice driver quality car. The rear chrome bumper with the SS pad is in very good condition. The rear bezels look to be original to the car. The stainless steel around the glass is in good condition along with the glass of the car. Body lines, as you can see here, this crisp body line runs throughout the vehicle and looks to be pretty straight. Um, I mean, it is pretty straight on both sides. Riddler wheels have been added with the radio tires, so that's been upgraded. Nice trim, like I mentioned earlier, nice door handles as well. Wheel openings are in very good condition. Front emblem, which is the SS that I explained earlier, has been added to give it the super sport look. Bezels look good. Grill looks great. Front chrome bumper looks great. And also added were the clear parking lenses below, like the SS models only had. Beautiful stance on the car, as you can see. Driver's side sport mirror. Body lines on this side look nice and crisp as I pointed them out to you on the passenger side. As you can see that line that runs all the way across from the front fender through the door to the back corner. All looks good. What I'm gonna do is pop the trunk. It appears to be a original sheet metal car. And the trunk floors look excellent on the car. Okay. I don't know if you can see the numbers, but they're there. Under the trunk has been painted and inside the trunk. Very, very solid. No concerns whatsoever. Underneath, it's pretty clean on this car. It does have 12 bolt posi rear end. I was told posi. And I'm gonna make sure of that in a little while when I spin the tires. New shocks, dual exhaust with the dumps right there. Okay. I don't know if we can zoom in and see the trans. I know it's an automatic. It looks like a turbo 350 automatic three speed. Okay. Moving right along. Let's check out the passenger side floors here. They look pretty solid with the big dual exhaust system. Rockers look nice and solid as well. Passenger, pass, passenger side door lips look factory as you can see there. Door panels have been replaced along with the door sill plates and the inner quarters right there look excellent. Bench seat, column shift, SS gauge package. Nice dash, nice headliner, not perfect as you can see right there. Needs to be tucked and rolled a little bit. Okay, the car's not perfect guys, it, it does need some work, okay? When I say some work, nothing with the exterior of the car, it's mostly the electrical. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pop the hood. To pop the hood on a 70 is right here, pull this, and the hood lips. Give me one second. A 
voila. Nice 350 engine. Previous owner told me it's been board and stroke to a 355. No paperwork. Holly aluminum intake. Edelbrock four barrel carb. Newer alternator. Upgraded with the aluminum bow tie valve covers. Newer interstate battery with the cutoff. Radiator intact. Nice inner fenders, as you can see on both sides. Stock A arms, upper and lowers. Okay, there's your power steering there and your front power disc brakes. Upgraded ignition. Check out the color code here. It's factory color code on this car. It was born with number 28. Do some research, guys. Okay, I'm gonna check out the interior now, fire up the car. Um, a couple little blemishes on the windshield right there. Walking around, there's a little right there, as you can see that. I'm going to point everything out to you guys. And a little scratch right here. I don't know how that happened. We could touch that up. Not a problem. And make that part go away. All right. So let's check out the passenger, or should I say the driver's side. Weather stripping on the doors have all been redone. As you can see, the factory seam on the lips. Nice door panels, rockers, inner and outer. Interior looks clean. It's not perfect, but clean. Let's fire up this car.